Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a haul from a recent um, rummage sale that I went to. So let me show you all the fabric that I got. So here's my bag from the rummage sale. I got this big old bag and actually the price on it is not what I paid because the lady actually like as I was picking things out, she like was putting them all in the bag and then at the end she's like, okay, it should be like X amount of dollars, but here, we'll do this amount instead. And she got me a deal, which I appreciate. Um, so let me just get this all out of the bag real quick so I don't have to make that noise. Okay, so the fabric was two different ways. One, there was, sorry, three. One, there was pieces that were put together and like masking taped and it told you how much it is uh, and how much money it is. Then there was the remnant box, which was dollar pieces like this one. And they were $1 for each piece. And then there was a smaller um, bin that was fill as much as you can in a bag for a dollar, I believe. I didn't even get any of that because I have a lot of fabric. I shouldn't have even gotten this fabric, but here we are. So uh, let me go through the stack on the right. So I was really on the fence about this one. I didn't know if this was creepy or cute. And by the way, this fabric stinks. Like, um, So the rummage sale is run by the um, ladies board which they work with the Inova Hospital. I live in Northern Virginia. And um, so all the money goes to the hospital. It's a great cause. They make like a million dollars or something crazy at this thing. They didn't have it last year because of um, COVID, but this year it was at the Loudoun County Fairgrounds. And like, it's awesome that they have so many people and so much stuff, but oh my God, it was like, I've been before and it's enjoyable. It was like not even enjoyable. Like there were so many people in like, they're like, put your mask on, put your mask on. We're outside at the fairground in a barn. Like, leave me alone. So I don't know, like it, it's a good cause. It's cool that I got all this stuff, but I was very disappointed in the atmosphere, if you feel me. All right, anyways, so this fabric, I was uh, so on the fence. Like, is it creepy or is it cute? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna beat myself up if I don't get it. This one I thought would just be a great like backing fabric. It's really cool. So these were all in that like dollar bin. Of course florals. Love my florals. So yeah, I need to surge and wash all these because they are smelly from being in the barn. Lace, I love lace. And then So then like this one, I already opened up because I wanted to see what it was. So this was, this was labeled three pieces pillow tops, $4. And so I could barely see what it was. And I was very excited because it was what I thought it was. So it's like these squares and then you cut them and then like your panel's already done. And it came with a bunch of like solid sunflowers. So I was very excited about that. I wonder if there's, I think, oh yeah, here's some more of just the plain ones. I thought this was pretty cool. I have like a stamp like this for card making. That's like birthday. I thought that was pretty cool. This one. This one reminds you like a garden, like radishes or something. I don't know. It's very vibrant. It's very nice. I think this is the last uh, of the remnants. And some of these, like, they're big pieces. You know, like this one right here. So this is two pieces, 65 inches by 40 inches for $3. And I didn't pay $3. This one, I do not remember putting in the pile. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But like I said, like, I was making, like, a pile on the table. Like, I was, like, stacking them all. And then this woman comes over, the worker, a uh, volunteer, and she, like, started, like, 
putting it all in a bag like she was trying to be helpful but then like I didn't get to like look back through the bag and there was like so much going on like put your mask on and so I just oh I wanted to leave so I just figured it out when I got home so yeah I don't know how this ended up in there but whatever uh this one what do you think the shape is I think it's a sailboat let me know in the comments what you think I don't know is it a shape is it not a shape one and a quarter, or sorry, one and a third yard by uh, 42 inches. This one's cool, so I got little fishies. One and a half yards, $3. This one's cool, it's like golf. I like finding, like whenever I find masculine fabrics, I always like to get them because like fabric is definitely way more geared towards women and like feminine patterns and flowers and stuff so it's cool when I get stuff that's more masculine because like especially when I go to the craft fairs like I'll get like kids or um people asking me like oh I want to get something for my son and sometimes I don't have anything like that so this one was a lot six yards for ten dollars that's insane like at Joann's like you're lucky if you could find something for like five or six dollars a yard and that's six yards this one I thought was cool like St. Patrick's Day or um Christmas something like that two and a quarter yard three dollars and florals and then um uh, gotta love uh this stuff so the rummage sale was three days friday you could pay i think it was fifty dollars something crazy it used to only be like five dollars or ten dollars to like get in the pre-sale this year it was fifty dollars and then like that's your, your ticket you still gotta buy your stuff and then, so I went on Saturday, which was the normal day, and I got there when they opened, and it was as crazy as I'm saying. Like, I was in line, and they said, go. Like, that's how early I was there. Anyways, so then Sunday was the day that it was, like, cheaper, and, like, things were on sale. So, uh, my family went, and I wasn't able to go, but they got me some stuff, too. So, I have, like, some napkins and stuff here, and I'm sure this was all, like... 50 cents or a dollar because like I said like it was already cheap the first day and then like the second day is like take it because we're like throwing it away or donating it so please take it so there's a bunch of napkins and stuff here I do um custom napkins and embroidery in my Etsy shop so the thought was that I could uh embroider these which was very sweet I appreciate it so just some different little things some napkins these are interesting so they're like I've done a tutorial on something similar to this this is a much um simpler version but so it's a bag with like a drawstring that's really cool so here's another one and like this person who made it like I definitely think someone made it I don't think they bought it because, like, it's weird that, like, the stitches are on the outside. I don't think it would be like that if you bought it. But, um, because they did French seams. But they didn't even do a good job of the French seams because... I'm trying to show you that there's a raw edge right here. So they didn't do the French seam right. So I definitely think someone made this. Uh, but they took the time to, like, put a grommet on. So that's pretty interesting. But they're very cool. I don't know if I'm gonna like put something on them and sell them or if I'm gonna keep them for myself. Oh, this one's like one of those bags too, but, oh yeah, the grommet's right here. So this must have been like all from the same person or something. I don't know, I didn't even see these that day, but I was not in the barn very long. And then, this is a napkin. So yeah, that is all of my haul. I gotta get it all surged and washed. If you are wondering what I'm talking about or why you would surge before pre-washing or why you would pre-wash, I've done videos like that. So please check them out down in the description box below. And I appreciate you joining me today. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.